Well, for the past 20 years, a librarian in California has been documenting the items found in returned library books, from old photographs to love letters, even recipes. Sharon McKellar is sharing the items with the public on the library's website. With the help of other librarians in Oakland, the list now includes 350 unique items, and Sharon joins us to tell us more about it. Good morning. Good morning. Why did you feel the need to do this? Um, well, it started just for fun and kind of on a whim. I had a couple of things I had saved that I enjoy just because they were fun and funny. And we were starting a new website about 10 years ago, and I thought it might be fun to start sharing some of those some of those items with the public. Well, let's talk about some of our favorite ones. I think we're going to take a full screen of some of the ones that maybe you can reference. One is a postcard. Uh, that reads, uh, it's a note to Caroline or the recipe, meet a man, buy a house, have a baby, make a home, repeat step three as required. Miss you, <laughs> Michael. Now, yes. Do you say where you found these, Sharon, or no? No, we don't. Um, we don't even always know. I think often our staff is quickly, you know, going about their day, shelving books or emptying the book drops and uh, checking things in and something appears and they just sort of set it aside and then it makes its way to me a little bit later. So once in a while, someone will tell me what book it was in, but usually they just come at me in, in sort of an envelope, so. Mm. Let's take a look at another one. This one is a drawing of Robot Daddy saying, calculating, I love beer. <laughs> uh, does this give you a glimpse as to uh, the lives of the people that use your library? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're all just very, very human, and it just it gives you a sense of all the different people who come through our doors, all the different people um, who live in Oakland, and a little a little bit of what's going on inside of them. Let's look at one more here. We've got some. So wait, is this not is this a cover of a of a harlequin romance novel what is this it, it looks like a cover of a harlequin romance romance novel but it isn't it it it's a single just image um that is not the the weight of a book cover so i have no idea where it comes from or huh. what it is huh but all right it, just a place saver yeah, for a book. My yeah bookmark exactly. <laughs> to entice me to read more. Yeah. Uh, next is a letter that reads, remember, I love you, sweetheart. The past is the past, so let's not take it home with us. I just want to love you and be happy. Boy, too bad that note never made it to the yeah. <laughs> where it was supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. Well, that one actually somebody reached out and thinks it may have been a love note passed between her parents, like oh, in no the late eighties, uh, which I think is very, very cool. So now what makes her think that? Well, she recognized the handwriting and the style of the image, and asked her mom, who had lived in Oakland at the time, and the mom said it. It very well could be. It it looks like my writing, and it's the kind of notes your dad and I used to pass each other all the time. So wow, that is cool. Have you successfully tracked anyone down? I mean, has anyone misplaced anything? That you know, we've we've tracked. We've had people reach out who recognize little notes and things, but nothing nothing that they wanted back or yeah. you know were really missing. Well, wow. it's kind of cool. You can check out more at oaklandlibrary.org slash found. You can also follow along on Twitter and Instagram at Oakland Library Found. And uh, is, it a, is it a website found in a library book, too? Is that right? That's just the name of the, the page on our library website. So. Gotcha. Okay, mm -hmm. Sharon, thanks, thanks so much Sharon. for joining us. Thank you so much for having me.